Not too. I'm not okay with that. Is he reversing it out?
one is like it's like hot, like too hot. The the milk's burnt, and it's like curdling with the coffee. Like, Finally arrived in Bathurst in the Airbnb. It's cold. It's cold in here. It's an old little baby. But God, I'm so fucking tired. That was a long drive and I'm so sore. I'll give you guys a tour of the little Airbnb that I'm staying in for the weekend. Or oh, like, like a few days in here. Door. Very nice door. I lock it. And it's cool. Got living room. TV. I love the kitchen. Honestly, that is like goals for my kitchen. That is so pretty. I'm, oh, laundry, the backyard, pet door. Come into here. We have the bathroom, which is very old, so we can see. Shower, which is e. I'm a bit nick about. Then we've got bedroom in here. One bedroom, nice and cute. And then the second bedroom, which is where I am, because I need to study and do work. So yeah. So yeah, um, it is 7.45, I need to study, and I need to also go to the gym. So I'm gonna study until Harry gets here, just so he knows to get in and all that kind of stuff and where it is and then I'm just like looking in the cupboards to see if it's, oh, there's a rice cooker and a, oh pretty sure the people that own this place are Asian <laughs> just saying <laughs> another rice how many fucking rice cookers are there I haven't had dinner yet so I might order some takeaway Actually, give us a second, I'll call Harry. Hello, my beautiful person. I I have arrived. Oh, have you? Yes. Oh, God bless you. Oh. You're a Lisco? Yes. Oh, okay, not far. I'm a Lisco. I'm just going to pull in the crackers and get a fucking drink because I'm so thirsty. Oh, I was going to ask, did you want me to order, like, take a takeaway or something? Um, or are you, you no, I haven't eaten. So I was wondering if you wanted to get dinner or if you were going to get dinner on the way. Ooh, I'll get dinner with you if you're up for it. Yeah, because I'm just going to study until you get here and then okay. we can eat and then once we're done I'll probably go to the gym. Okay, are you getting ripped tonight? I'm getting ripped tonight. <laughs> I will that for pay. Hey! I'm going in tonight. Exactly, no, because I didn't gym yesterday so oh. I have to gym today. But yeah. Yeah, no, well, that works out well because I've got a bit of work to do, um, so I'll do that while you're at the gym. Perfect, yeah. Awesome, that sounds good. Oh, you know, let's go back now. Perfect, okay. You get your drink and I'll let you drive safely and I'll shoot you some stuff over. Oh, I'll see you in a fucking hour. Can you believe this? I'm so excited. I'm absolutely shitting myself. <laughs> oh my god, I'm oh like, god. I'm gonna cry. Really you though. Thank you. 
Lesbian. Lesbian. Let's be honest. It smells weird here, I don't know why. Mm. The weed smells. I'm pretty sure it's, it's owned by Asians. Probably it is. Yeah. Uh, I have a bit more to bring in and then. Oh, okay. Sort of. Sort of oh my god, stop. Look at you. I'm dying. What a shit trip. How was yours? Long? Yeah, the way that dad went, we were, I had no reception for like yeah, six hours of it. Oh no. Out in the wilderness. We went straight through like the bush. Oh. Like we, we didn't go like coast way. We was like, where am I going? And I was like, this is a quick, the quick way. And I was like, bush. Stop it, come here. I'm having another hug. Oh my god. Poo poo and egg back together again. It's been too long. I know, stop. It's been like eight months. I know, fuck me. <laughs> Calm Are down. Are you filming this? <laughs> Welcome to my vlog. Bitch and me. Yes. <laughs> I am back from Z Gym. I did a upper body sesh. It was a very quick one. Didn't want to have a like a a massive session because it is late at night, and I want to try and get some of my assignment working. So um, I did bench press, shoulder press, uh, dumbbell flies, uh, um, dumbbell curls, bicep curls, bicep curls, and then I did um rope pulley to face and tricep extensions and then tricep dips just a quick session I tried to go heavy today but I just don't have the energy to do heavy so that was kind of a fail uh, but yeah just a quick just a quick session then I'm gonna have a shower and then I'm gonna continue back doing my assignment in bed hopefully it's warmer fingers crossed fingers crossed while I'm here looking like fresh faced, I thought I might as well go through my nighttime skincare routine because I haven't actually done that in a very, very long time. I found. I just realized I have not gone through my nighttime skincare routine because it has changed. Uh, first of all, uh, when I cleanse my skin, I'm currently going through with the Paula Skincare Pore Normalizing Cleanser, which is the it's for blemish prone skin. It's just a cleanser that you use. Looks like that. So I cleanse my face with that morning and night. And then after that, I go in with a hyaluronic acid. And this one is from The Ordinary. I'm too lazy to like bring it in. Let's put like a, a, like a pea amount on and just rub it in your face while it's still there. Because that will just suck in all the moisture that is left over. Keeping your face hydrated. It is what you want. Is we go in with the... And then I go in with the Paula's Choice anti redness Exfoliating Solution with 2% salicylic Acid for blemish prone skin. And this is the extra strength one. I'm trialing the extra strength one out. Especially when I'm traveling. So I've got the extra strength in the travel kit and then I've got like just the normal strength in the regular kit just because like when I'm traveling or if I'm going somewhere overnight I tend to just get really shitty blemishes and I feel like I just want to give this a go and see how it goes for my skin and see if it reacts differently so just put it in like a cotton bud you just move it around on the skin like so and then I like to go in with the Paula's Choice again, the exfoliant 2% BHA liquid with silic acid and this is this unclogs and shrinks enlarged pores, smooth and even skin tone and is lightweight and it quickly absorbs. So this guy, that will go after the second one and same, just put in a cotton bud, just like put it in your T-zone or like where you are prone to get large pores or blemishes. And then after that, I go in with the Paula's choice I just forget forget the name the daily skin clearing treatment with 5% benzoyl peroxide for blemish prone skin and this is in the extra strength one and it's just a cream that you put on after that like the cleanser the two toners you put this on afterwards and this will just treat everything and then for my nighttime stuff this is where we have a lot of fun I like to go in with the Paula's choice 
uh, 0.3% retinol plus 2% buccal oil treatment with peptides plus vitamin C. This targets lines and wrinkles and reveals firmer looking skin. Also is great for acne scars and getting rid of um, like, ble I wouldn't say blemishes, but just marks that you get from scarring or put that on. And last but not least, when it comes to the skin, I like to put on polystrized niacinamide 20% treatment. And this with is, this is great for reducing pores and giving your face more like elasticity feel. It's really great for people with acne, reducing the pores. And then I'm trying something new with Pores Choice. This is their Skin Perfecting BHA9 liquid. It's very small. This is like the travel size. And it's a spot treatment that you put on. You just put it on anything where you might have blemish, like here, here. And after we've done all that stuff, we then put eye cream on. Because we don't want our eyes looking wrinkly. We want them to look young forever. Boom. And that, my guys, is my nighttime skincare routine right as of now. This is me without it. Ooh, anything on. So yeah, she be feeling refreshed after driving 12 hours. That is correct. Correct Monday. Do not cut your fucking hair.
gym tonight. Work out in that pussy, ayy. Hey. And I get off, think I'm not having that regular talk. I make a point of six bucks. What do you do? You take it off and throw it up. I need to go the other way. Too close, no, too close. Go on. Do it again. I was trying to follow the hat. words. How many did you do? 2,500. I've written like the beginning of the study of like the case. I haven't gotten anywhere near the, 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 the proper thing. I just keep rambling. I want to cry. Oh we can be corny. Fuck it. Sugar. I, no dummy dummy. We can kiss and just cut the rubbish. I ain't giving you hundred pocket. One B. Hehehe. <laughs> 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 you got my glasses. I'm blind. Ah. Oh. Do you feel better? I feel it. Oh, I need a nap. <laughs> I want to feel like you. <laughs> I'm high on fucking sleep. Not even drugs. It's just it's it's not fucking cold. Oh, fuck off. It is. Uh, it is 11 degrees here, I beg to differ. And it's raining. Mm. No, it's not cold in Brisbane. You can shut the fuck up. No. Yes, what she said. Pussy. Pussy. Tag team bitches. Honestly, I will, I will be blunt with someone and tell them to shut the fuck up and grow a pair of balls. Shut your whore mouth. I don't need that bullshit right now. I will concave your head into a wall. I will cut you. Oh, okay. <laughs> you will die. Dead. 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 <laughs> ah! I found that bitch right but it was a woman. Brain one big. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, did I stop you? <laughs> <laughs> no one, middle-aged woman. I'm going to check out chick. Come here, boy, I love you, drive on you. <laughs> <laughs> 